So as you can see, I'm on One UI 6.1 for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Been waiting for this update for a very, very long time and I'm excited to have it. Now, if you go into settings and then tips and user guide, I'm gonna walk you through everything for the new advanced intelligent stuff and some other things as well. The first one is circle to search. You can touch and hold the home button or below, I use the gestures. If you press and hold down there where the little bar is, I have it removed, but if you'll see a little bar, you all you do is press and hold that and you can circle and search from any screen that you're on and find information off pictures or text. And I'll show you that real quick. I'm gonna load up a website right here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to circle and search this refrigerator, press and hold, and then you can either tap or circle what you wanna search. I like to circle it, it just seems a little bit more fun. And in moments, it brings up every place that I can find information on that fridge, have it be to purchase or just getting information. You can also search text and you can circle it or tap it and it will bring up text that'll automatically search on a website and I can go to this website um, that it brings up in the search results, Droid Life, and read an article about that said text. The next one is to translate phone calls in real time. I'm also gonna translate um, conversations as well in this little piece here, but this is actually really cool because you're able, like I said, to translate your phone call from different languages. So I'm gonna go to settings, and when I do that, I'm gonna turn it on, and you're gonna get this little screen that says advanced intelligence. You might even get it multiple times. Just go through it and hit continue, and you're basically turning it on so that you can use it in different languages and download different languages as well so that you can use this offline and online. And as you can see, they have everything from Chinese to English, French, German, Hindi, Italian, Japanese, and many more. Then just hit continue when you have the interpreter app open for the first time. And then you're just basically hitting allow to all of these so that you can end up using it. Also, if you're looking for the interpreter app, swipe down from the top and in your quick toggles, you'll see the interpreter. And then the way you use it, all you're gonna do is tap on that microphone for the language you wanna start off with first, and it will automatically, once you're done speaking, interpret it back to the other language. They'll hear it in their language, and then when they respond back, they'll speak in their language, and it'll interpret it back into your language so that you can, in, you can understand each other much easier. Now, if you wanna translate calls in real time, it's really, really simple. Basically, all you're gonna do is make a call or have someone call you, and you'll see that button in the middle that says call assist. You tap that as you speak and they speak, it will automatically translate back and forth your language to their language and their language back to your language so that you can understand what they are saying and they can understand what you're saying. It'll verbalize it so that they understand and you understand. So it's really, really cool stuff. This next one is writing assist. And I'll show you this in just a moment. You're gonna hit continue. And what this is gonna do is you can go into your, basically go into like your text messaging app or any kind of social app, basically. Send your message and then you'll see a little button that you can press to use the AI. It'll be in the top left. Once you press that, you can do chat translation if you're trying to translate something that you said or they said, uh, writing style and spelling and grammar. We're gonna try writing style. And you can see you can choose from multiple different ones from polite to social to casual and everything pretty much in between. And you can either copy it or insert it. And once you do that, it goes right into the message and you can send it. And it's a really quick way to send something a little bit more creative or better if your writing style isn't that good. All right, so I have the Samsung Notes app open. I'm going to tap right here. And it's gonna, again, for the first time you do it, you're gonna hit okay. And I can auto format this, I can summarize it, translate it, correct spelling. I'll just summarize it real quick. Uh, well, actually, I won't summarize because it's less than two, uh, 200 words, but you could if you wanted to. If it was a bunch of words, I could summarize it, auto format it. Um, again, it's less than 200, but there's a bunch of things you can do on here. Next one is voice recordings. So if you have the voice recorder app. So all you're going to do is go into one of your recordings, tap it, and you can see you can transcribe. Choose the language, hit transcribe. And then in just a moment here, it's going to transcribe my voice to text. 
So very easy, you can speak speaker one. If you had multiple people, it shows speaker one, speaker two. This next one is you can summarize and translate web pages. Just tap the browsing assist icon and get a summary uh, translation of the current web page and powered by advanced intelligence. This works with the Samsung internet app. This one right here, this purple one. So just tap on that. And we have a, a web page right here. And then from here, you're just gonna tap this button right here. Hit okay for the first time. And you can either summarize or translate. I'll do summarize. And in just a moment, it's gonna summarize this whole page for me and tell me what everything is about. And I can copy it or I can even translate it if it's another language. The next one is you can reimagine pictures with photo editor. Gallery's photo editor helps you transform images with advanced intelligence. You can move people and objects around, resize them and remove them entirely. And you can even change the angle of images, then fill in the gaps around the edges. So let's go into the gallery app. So I've got this picture of my son. I'm going to tap, I'm going to edit. And then you have this button over here, this little blue button, tap that, hit okay the first time. And you see you can tap or draw around anything you want to move or delete. So I'm gonna tap on my son. I'm gonna move him down here. And then generate, let's see what it does with that. Here's the original. It did a pretty good job of moving him Next one is you can generate your own wallpaper, select categories and keywords, and then match your, your uh, timeline. So let's go that, let's do that next. So what we're gonna do is press and hold on a blank spot, go to wallpaper and style, change wallpapers. And then we're gonna go down to where it says creative generative, tap on that. We're gonna choose the category that we want. You can see there's a bunch here already. So we'll choose what we have want right here. Like, so we'll, maybe we'll do something interesting we'll do night i kind of like dark wallpapers and then from here we can do abstract or gray or blue maybe we want it to be indigo so we want a, a abstract indigo if you want a mountain range or a foggy swamp or a river or a beach or a cliff we'll do a, a river with and you can do it with ice or bubbles or clouds or flowers or coral reef uh, we'll do it with some waves and then we're going to hit generate. I agree. And in just moments here, we're going to have a wallpaper that we can use. That's that we created and it won't potentially look like anyone else's. I mean, it's kind of generic looking, but maybe we want to change that to uh, teal and maybe change this river to a mountain and then it'll well, keep the waves. We'll generate that and see what this one looks like this time. <clears throat> All right, here's this one. And say you like one of these, maybe you like uh, this one, for instance, you can do that, hit next, and then you can apply it. Next, let's get into the operating system itself, how it feels, if it's faster or not, or smoother. It definitely feels smoother, especially after I deleted the home screen I had. I had my One UI home settings. I have a video on it. I'll release it in a couple of days on how you can do that. But once I cleared the data on that and then restored it back through Samsung backup, um, it felt a lot smoother, which was nice. So it's definitely smoother than what I had before. Um, it's still not as smooth, I would say, as like a, a pixel fold, uh, which is still very, very smooth. But otherwise, it's still a, a pretty smooth experience in general for what I have um, on here with this phone. So very happy with the smoothness and, and speed of everything. It's definitely pretty nice. In the gallery app, you can also do instant slow-mo. So choose your video and then just press and hold it and it will instantly go into a slow motion video. And if you wanna keep it like that, hit the edit button. And you can see you can apply your instant slow-mo from the previous screen. Here you just choose what you want. You can do half motion or full motion and then choose what you want and then hit save. So there you go, really nice upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Very happy with it so far. I haven't noticed any issues thus far. I'm not saying there isn't any, I just haven't noticed any. Uh, it's nice to have the Galaxy AI stuff built into there uh, finally, and uh, I will definitely be using it on a regular. Have a great day, we'll see you down the road. Peace.